we going? Breakfast is good here in Pathos. We just had torrential rain. Yeah. Going into the fort at the harbour. I'll be wrong. We're going upstairs to the battlements at the fort at the harbour. Here we are on the battlements. At the end of watching this, Rob and I are wondering out what stone this is made of. We think it's sandstone, but we could be wrong. Yes, interesting. I'm coming down to see what's going on here. As we look around this really ancient fort, we come across this really ancient bike uh -huh. just parked there. Sort of a bit out of character and a bit out of sync with uh, the rest of the fort, really. And there's an ancient hole. Wow, there's an ancient hole. Should we have a look in the ancient hole? There's an ancient hole. Yes, an ancient hole. Mm. Moody, atmospheric, dark, oppressive, dank. Yes. Man, you should be a poet. Now just outside the apartment, Rob and I have got this um, site that's just seen sort of strewn, I mean it's next door to the Basilica, which is an archaeological site, but this one is just not doing much. <laughs> it's just sp sprawled about and it's an ancient site. But these are made out of marble and they're, they're really hard. The carving is amazing on this. Incredible. We're not quite sure why this is not an archaeological site, unless it has been, but no one's doing any work here. Why, why? Why are they... St Paul's Pillar, <coughs> according to myth, St Paul was, was he whipped? Preaching Christianity. Ooh, yes, yeah. whipped, lashed lots of times. Mm. That's right. This is where we were last night. Oh, is men. Great place, great place. I don't think we're supposed to be in here actually. It's all sort of sealed off, but we are. Hop it over. Mm. Mosaic floor, which you didn't see last night, which is just by the entrance to the church, the Basilica Church. But say, as Rob says, it's weird it's not covered over. Because it will slowly uh, deteriorate. Meow. Oh. Hello. Hello. Yeah. So many cats here, man. Oh. Okay, we're at the top of the amphitheatre. We didn't realise this was here, actually. Um, nice view of Pathos up a town. Oh, we weren't expecting this, were we? It's much nicer up here than down in the town. Yeah, down in the town. Yeah. Yeah. What a wicked uh, concert up here. It's the amphitheatre. It's called out train a minute. We've just been walking around looking at these crags and we've discovered these little caves cut into the rock side. It's remarkable. I mean, there's actually graffiti here. It says 1941, which is interesting. But the way it's been carved out is really, really flat. Coming through the hole in the other chamber. Oh. Wow, amazing. Never cease to surprise us this place. 
Okay, this is Rob in the cave building a stone circle. Is that what you're doing, Rob? Yeah. Because that one along the beachfront was destroyed, wasn't it? <coughs> Pathos Henge. This might be the new Pathos Henge. Although we haven't got the lintels on the top. It needs an avenue. <laughs> yeah, an avenue. And um, a couple of barrows around as well. There it is. Pathos Henge. A little bit more of a ghost. Amazing, would you know this was here? Sorry. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a cathedral. Holy sh. We just walked in, we just found this incredible. And the just natural, cathedral. natural cathedral. Natural cathedral, almost. Well, it's not natural, but it's been carved, but it's really high. Why were they put offerings on that tree? Now, this is interesting. We've got bits of clothing for offerings on this tree that we heard about. Oh, That's really sweet. So we went up here, we didn't know what was up here, we've gone exploring and we find this. That's what it's all about. Get off the beaten path, find out a, pla a place you're visiting. It's away from the guidebooks. It's underground, um, just by the roadside. We can just come in open access and just uh, it's like an old living quarters or something. something. But we're gonna, there's some tunnels there, so we're going to have a little wander. I've got night vision, so in case it goes too dark, we'll switch to that. Of course, I'm doing a paranormal investigation here. Which is amazing. Good Lord, up there, doesn't it? God. Any spirits here? Oh, no. Are they coming? Is he so Yes. Is it natural? Um, um, um. Very cool. So you're just walking about, finding these places, what's all about? Here we are, we're um, on the way to Tomb of the Kings. We've gone past Tomb of the Kings. We've gone past <laughs> Tomb of the Kings because the bus driver did not announce. We've ended up at uh, Coral Bay, which is actually very nice. Yeah. It, um, but we're going to continue, we've got like 50 minutes now for the bus to go back. We should just hide a fucking car. And it's incredibly difficult situation to deal with when you've got like palm, palm trees in the background there. We have got lovely food. Can the wait tree? Palm trees. Say hello. Thank you very much indeed. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's an incredibly difficult situation to be in with palm trees and amazing blue, blue sea. Yeah, incredibly stressful situation to be in. Not. Got anything else to say? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. So here we are at the uh, Tomb of the Kings, finally, after taking a bus journey up to Coral Bay. And uh, it's rather cool, actually. And we'll take you in a few of the uh, little tombs here. It's a, it's a sacred mound, look. Yeah, it's got energy pumping from it, yeah? <laughs> Look, over here, look. Yeah. Not very nice arch. Oh, mate. look at that. It's very nice. It's like, it's like a gigantic men and tall. Okay. Rod's saying yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay, let's go down into this tomb here. Yeah. Go down to this tomb. Amazing. Incredible place. If you're ever in Pathos, come to Tomb of the Kings. It's not very well signposted though, but it's here. In here. Oh, it's been carved into the rocks. It's amazing. So you know where the tombs would have been, I imagine. Every time you go around a corner, there's something even more impressive that uh, takes your blood breath away. This place is absolutely mental. 
what's interesting is you do think to yourself, hmm, great place to do a paranormal investigation. Great place. The Tomb of the Kings is very impressive. This part down here actually is very much like uh, Luke Skywalker's home on Tatooine in A New Hope. Okay, although that's obviously in uh, Tunisia. But it is really incredible the way they've carved this into, into the rock. A lot of these sites around, scattered around, are actually pretty much the same, from, obviously from different periods. But uh, we have been suitably impressed mm -hmm. with the whole place. Looks very Greek, yeah? Greek motif. <laughs> If people wonder why we sort of raise our voices on certain words, it's just a, a, a bit of an in-joke. Only a few people seem to understand. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Energy, yeah! Things like that. We've been staying here for 20 years and we can't seem to shake it off. Back to square one, yeah? <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> <laughs>